We've been renovating this place for about 10 years now, so I'm getting pretty familiar with Michael's renovation language. The good, the bad and the crazy. Ah, bugger! Um. You've gotta be. But he actually really only goes crazy for insulation. What sort of insulation you got in your place, Lindsay? Uh, you know, in summer, so cool. Don't even have to put the aircon on. So you know when it comes to insulation in your house, it's sort of two factors that, you know, determine how good it is. You know, so it's like, it's how thick it is, and the other is the thermal efficiency of the actual product. So, you know, if you've got those two, you get a higher R value. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, hey? So, you know, if you've got a higher R value in your house, mate, you won't even feel winters in this place, hey? It'll be so cool. But in summer, it keeps out, you know, all the heat as well, so. Um, you know, that's what I've got in my place. I've got, you know, R3.5 up here in the roof. Sometimes I think Michael's insulation obsession may even border on, um, unhealthy. Yeah, so anyway, I said you can keep the donkey. <laughs> Classic. Whee! Right oh my goodness. Oh, you tell you what. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh my God! But secretly, I like insulation too, because it makes me comfortable. It keeps me cool in summer and warm in winter. And it's not actually as complicated as Michael makes out. The higher the R value, the better the thermal performance. So, bigger actually is better. Thanks for watching. We hope we've given you some great ideas for your next renovation or new build. Now, not everything we've done here on the sunny Gold Coast will be right for your home. Every home is different and what's right for you will depend on where you live, whether you're renovating or building, your budget and your goals. So jump on the website for some more great tips and ideas and to learn how you can create a home for yourself that is healthy, efficient and comfortable.